I know you guys wanted to see some more quilts. Quilt rack is pretty. The quilt is nice. Here's some iron stone. 25. Really pretty. Cute little antique tin. Nice brown color. Just got 20 on that. 45 on the bowl. That's a fair price for that, but for me to resell, I would not purchase this. Just so much stuff to look at here. Eighteen on this piece. It's been repaired quite a few times. Vintage scoop is thirty. I had a bunch of these at one point, but I sold all of them. Coffee grinder. Really nice coffee grinder, 35. It's in great condition. 35 on that. Eighty-five on this big copper pour. Nice large copper kettle is thirty-eight. I definitely want this one. And this one is really heavy and authentic. It doesn't have the lid though. It's not the one I had as a child. Twenty-five. Gave me the set or set of books. Vintage monkey with organ musical. Wow. A jelly mold, 45. I love this set. I've seen this set many places. Really pretty. This is their coffee pot, which is 55. Oh, it's getting warm. Let's see how much they have for the washboards. 35 and 36. getting quite busy in here. This old propagation station. Six suspended glass tubes, 97. 49 on this canning stoneware jar. Yeah. Have a watering can at the top for 25. No spout. Oh, he's antique cast iron. He's a falcon. Oh, he's pretty. Really heavy. Okay. Mom just found this. It's only 17. It would be nice. Doorstop. I would put him on a mantle. I think he's nice. Oh, this is cool. It's a copper candle stick holder. Oh my gosh, mom just found the largest stoneware gallon jug that I've seen. 125 on this massive salt glaze jug. Wow. It's in great shape for just having a small chip on the top. The shipping on this would be insane. Really nice though. Oh, here's some more baskets. Like I just bought one, well, I bought one in my other video recently, 75. I bought this exact basket for $30 at my most recent estate sale video. So I got a great deal. <laughs> this is really nice. 
25. Really, really nice. And to check if there's any leaks, you can hold it up to a light. See if you see any light coming through. This is really pretty. And then on this stoneware piece, they have 150. This is a really pretty piece too. 65. Lots of neat pieces in here as well. We're gonna get the magazine and this. Because this is really, really nice. I'm gonna do this and this. Okay. Got 25 on that. Thanks very much. Right, thank you. So seven. What's mom doing? And it's 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 working. Did you see there's a brown jug? He's got a brown What's jug that? back there. Oh, I did not see. Yeah. This one's 40. Yeah, too much for me. So you don't want it? I think I think All right. I want to show Ashley. Go ahead and get it. Okay. No. Go ahead, look, honey. Put your box down. I tell you what. Uh, Remember your downsizing, right? No. <laughs> He's retiring from it. If you could. What? So. Uh, yeah, the lantern's nice too. I tell you what. Uh, why don't we make your package deal? You like that too? You like. I'll tell you what. I'll do the lantern, this, and the jug. I'll do it all for $90. All three for $90. That's a really nice piece. These I thought were so big. Well, I got a pair of these. What is it? You don't know. Some I've had one before. Factory in it. type thing. And I've got they a, a match one there. And oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I see. Which would really be nice if you did like a well, shelf. Put some dried floral in them. You could. You could. Three, six. What did he tell you the prices were on those two? Like 40 on that one. I don't know how much that one is. Yeah, I think he told me 50 and 30. But if you buy two things, he'll give you that deal. I don't, and then I the want small to one. deal out that you were really wanting. Okay. How about, I want, to, I want to make this happen. I'll tell you what. I was looking at these two and then the jug, the brown okay. jug. Let's do this. Let's do 90 for all four pieces for you guys. I'll do 90 for all four pieces. That's a great deal. Okay. And you know what? I will, would you accept a gift from me? I got something Three, cool that's in your sewing. 40, 50, 60, do you want all four 70, pieces? 80, 90. 90 for the lantern and brown and those two, which is a great deal. Okay, so he's offering me these two jugs, this jug, and this massive lantern. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Put it all on here, don't you worry. You sure? Yeah, honey, don't worry. I'm gonna put a box together before you leave. Okay, I gotta give you, uh, hold this, honey. Okay. I, Cause it's so chaotic, I don't want. No worries. Dear God. <laughs> Oh, you can't no, I'm, get, I'm leaving after this, so that's perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Perfect. Right. Thank you so I'm much. I'm going to spend a little time putting it all in a box. I think he's a, he's oh, working he's something now. Hand? Yep. He's. Oh my God. Here, let me. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Here, I got this good stuff here. Put it here carefully. That would be, yeah, that would be perfect, that honey, bag. Yeah, my sweetheart. Perfect. I'll see if I can find some okay. more bags, honey. Thank you so much. Because the lantern will be fine. It's just yeah, the lantern can be carried. It's these guys. And you could put that one in there and then wrap them against yes. the rest, maybe. The, yeah, yeah. And then butt something there. Safe? Safe? But, or no? 
I was going to say that would act as a nice buffer between the... Here, wait, let's wrap that up. Hang on, hang on. That's gonna break something. That won't break, but it'll break something. Well, give me something small. No, put, put it, it all in here, then put it in here. It's, so it's like a nest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A bird's nest. Yeah. Perfect. I'd rather you do that. I see just, you guys all the time. You guys yeah, are, just, you know. Well, yeah, the cast iron will break it before anything else will. Do you want some of this still? Nope. No. This is perfect here. Okay. All right. Um, that's gonna have that. to go in okay. this bag on the top. Lay it sideways. Wonderful. Is this turn? Yep, to go lower, yeah. Okay, so, okay, you've got that. You've got the two pictures. I'll take this. What? It's a wonderful little smile. We'll get closer together. I love you guys. I see you every month, you know. Do you know what? I see you every month, you guys. Every month. Exactly. And life goes by, and we don't, we don't, we're all so busy always exactly. chasing almighty dollar. Exactly. But that's just for my own Well, thanks so life. much. I hope you have a great uh, rest I, of your I, sale. Thank you. Be careful. Be careful. Oh. I have to find you some you Boy that? Scout stuff. I got to find some vintage Boy Scouts. Good seeing you, brother. All right. Thank you again. Good luck today. Have a good day. Thank Selfish. you. All right. Wow. That was a good day today. People are still coming in. We've taken everything. There's nothing left. It's actually nice to go to. Yeah, I Lots agree. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek to get here, but yeah. not too bad. Yeah, yeah it was about 50-50, I'd say, on overpriced things versus deals. Yes. Sure. All right, so Mum's haul. <laughs> Mum got. You got shoes though. Four, two pairs Mom of shoes. Mum got. Two pairs of shoes, which is key. Hold on. Mum got some beautiful shoes. Are you gonna use those for any dolls? Yes, I will. Wow. That's a big doll. Oh, and, and grandbaby stuff. And then I got some beautiful. She got some personal buys. Yes. And then I found another pair of shoes. Ashley, Somebody else found another Ashley pair of shoes. Ashley found another pair of shoes for me. I picked those up whenever we were at getting the rug. Oh, and then I got this beautiful cast iron, cast dove. iron falcon. Is it a dove? What is it? It's a falcon. Yeah. She calls it a falcon. It's a, a falcon. It's a falcon, yes. Isn't it F U L H A. It's a him. I love him. Yeah, he's, he's very go cool. On my mantle. Nice. That those were my finds. Now, Great. Ashley, I got to do those later. You have them. Because I have some estate sale video stuff that's secret. These are my can't be favorite. shared right now. These I have to my, move it. These are my favorites. Aren't they beautiful? They're so lovely. Okay, so here's my haul. I got so many good things. The only thing that you're not seeing here is that massive antique rug that I got. Perfect for someone's living room. I'll try to get a large picture of it once I get it out of my, my car and maybe roll it out in the driveway to share with you all. It's so nice. I'm definitely gonna clean it off. It's honestly, it's in perfect condition. So here's everything that I got. So you remember I picked up this really, really cute farmhouse scale in a nice bright yellow. I don't often see them in this color, so this is really nice and fun. Really nice pieces of stoneware, uh, the vintage lantern. These are all in perfect condition. No major cracks, no major chips. All the stoneware I got was just great. I got this copper pour, which is really, really nice. I love the detail on the front of it. It's in great condition, no leaks. No major cracks or dents on this one. I'll do a water test just to make sure it holds water. So if anyone wants to use it for kitchen plants, house plants, anything like that. I got these great little English stoneware pieces. So this one is made in England. I'll probably keep this one for myself. This stoneware piece was really pretty. It does have a label that says product of France. I wasn't sure when I saw this if it was authentic. I found two of these antique French uh, prints and the frames are just really, really nice. The back's in good condition. It does have a hook for hanging. I'll probably leave the the matting on the back, it's in fine shape. The glass is great. And I also got this additional one, different design, just these girls in dresses. And I thought they were really pretty. Another beautiful antique frame. Both of these will go in my Etsy shop.
I'm starting to get more prints because um, I know I've gotten some feedback from you all. You do want some vintage prints and things like that. So I'm trying to find ones that I personally like. They're just really pretty. And lastly was these two were for Elena. She likes to use the old art clippings from the old magazines. Remember, she likes the vintage art stuff. And then I got a coffee table book of the Cotswolds. You guys know I have family in England and I travel there frequently, so really nice book. Just really pretty. So there you have it, there's my haul. Lots and lots of good stuff. I tried to make sure that I took my time and making sure things were in good condition. Really beautiful pieces that I would wanna put in my home. Um, pretty much all of this, apart from the Welsh mustard jar, is gonna go in my shop. So if you're watching this, it's likely already uploaded. So make sure to pop over to my Etsy shop and take a look. If there's something you like, feel free to purchase for your home or someone else. Okay, that was a lot of fun. My car is full of some goods. Wow, it got so busy in there so fast, but I'm really glad we got there right when it opened. We had to sit in line for a little bit, but it was worth it to go straight into um, one of my friends and dealers that she had so many good things in the very beginning. Uh, got that rug, massive rug, pristine condition for a great price. This is one that when I go and get it cleaned, it's gonna be hard to determine whether or not I keep it for my living room or I do put it in my shop. I've sold a few antique oriental rugs before, but it's something that I'm not quite sure if you guys would be interested in or not um, putting those rugs online. So let me know in the comments if you would be interested in something like this. I think the rug is probably 12 by seven. Gorgeous, gorgeous rug. I got some stoneware, some really nice copper pieces, and I had to break this video up into two parts because it was just so much stuff that I had to get through. Started to get a little bit warm at the end there, and it's, I think I spent an hour and 40 minutes inside. So tried to take you guys through all of the booths, lots of jewelry. I would say that this sale is 50-50. You're gonna find some vendors that have some really good prices, some steals. I got a couple pictures for $5 each, but then you're also gonna find some vendors that are selling those antique pictures for $40, $45, $130. So more of those antique store prices, if you know what I'm talking about, where you walk into some antique stores and it's just like boutique, hundreds and hundreds of dollars for these things. So if you're looking for some really classic pieces that you wanna spend a high price on, you might find that here. But if you're also looking for some deals, not so much here. I did spend some time really looking for some things. I got some of the, the vendors gave me some good bulk pricing. Um, you saw at the end there, someone that we've actually purchased from before in a couple flea markets gave me a great price on those four pieces. I got the three stoneware pieces and the lantern. I wasn't really looking for the lantern, but he was gonna throw it in as part of the deal. I do sell those in my Etsy shop pretty fast. So this one's like a gray muted silver. So that will be really nice to throw up there. Looks like I have a lot of work to do when I get back in cleaning all these antiques, getting them loaded in the Etsy shop. And thank you for coming with me. Thank you for sticking around and watching. I do always appreciate your support and the comments that you leave in my videos. So I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.